Okay, for the first time since I've been here, I've gotten my kayak into into uh, Teasdale Lake. Yeah. Wow, it wasn't easy. First you got to go up a hill, then you got to go down a hill, and it's all bushy all the way. Just that short piece at the beginning where the where you can see where the um, the Portage Trail is. There's no trail. I mean, just that short piece at the beginning where I landed. After that, you're on your own. It's just thick bush and there's a lot of raspberry bushes and some blueberries. Wow, not the best for walking through when you got shorts on. <laughs> it's not the best for walking through anyways because the berries will, will uh, attract bears. And that's what I ran into last time when I tried to get into Oulette Lake, which is just the over, over the other side of that ridge there. Yeah, usually I, you know, I don't have any problem with bears, but that bear, he wasn't going to leave. He said, you get out of here, I'm not moving. And I had to go back. So, I never got into Oulette Lake, but now I've gotten into Teasdale. There's a couple of islands here I want to check out. One's right there, it's a small one. It looks like mostly rock right there, see? Mm. There's another island that's bigger, farther down. I want to see what that's like. I'm not going to paddle all of Teasdale. It would take me too long. And then I need time to paddle back across Cork Lake. So let's get going. Keep on forgetting to.